What's up YouTube? It's at JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with a quick video for you guys. I just want to do a quick look at the Dish Network voice remote compared to the Dish Network remote that comes with the 4K Hopper, the 4K Joey. And basically they started coming out with this one. It's been almost two years now. However, this was supposed to launch with the 4K Joey. They had some technical issues, um, it didn't. I know that when I first got my 4K Joey, they had told me that once it was ready, that it would be included with the 4K Joey. And uh, it took about six months, and of course that was not the case when it came out. They decided that they wanted to charge $30 for it. Is it worth $30? Honestly guys, it is a decent remote. There is a few unique features. But in my personal opinion, I wish they would have included it. Um, I think, you know, for, you know, a little bit more money, you can just go ahead and get yourself a much better remote control that controls everything. However, let's just look at it real quick. Um, basically, it is a voice remote. It is optimized for the Hopper 3, the Wally, and the 4K Joey. It does use voice um, to search and control. It does have a, a backlight. Um, and touch navigation. The backlight is the biggest thing, you know, that I thought would be the best because my wife constantly is complaining that, you know, she can't see this in the dark um, in our bedroom at night. And that's that's true. It's, it's very difficult to use any remote that has no backlight on it in the dark. Um, so let's just take this out, take a quick peek at it here. Um, pretty nice packaging, okay. You can get this straight from Dish. Um, I've seen it on Amazon before and I believe YouTube. Now, size-wise, um, it actually is much smaller and those of you that have been with Dish Network for a while know that this remote is actually quite smaller than the one that they've had for many, many years. Um, but a little bit of different uh, side-by-side -side on this one here, there's nothing on this side. This one obviously has the uh, voice button and the light button on it. Um, from the front, it uh, has the touchpad here. Um, and then if you do hit the light button there and you hit uh, the numbers, you could see that the numbers light up versus you know trying to find them. That is nice. However, this is a touchpad. Um, so you gotta hit right on there to make sure that it um, gets the numbers correctly. Then, um, if you flip to the side, that is the same. It's about half the size, well not half the size, but it is <laughs> much smaller. It feels okay in the hand. Um, the voice features, guys, I mean sometimes they're right on and then sometimes they're nowhere close. I find with a lot of manufacturers that are not Google or even Amazon Alexa, they struggle with the voice commands, but it is nice sometimes to use your voice. I will say, you know, my son, he's seven, he played with that for a while in the beginning. No one uses it now. Um, but again, if anything, if you buy this remote, I would say it was for uh, the light up feature here because that definitely makes a difference in the dark. Other than that, guys, I cannot say that I would 100% recommend this for 30 bucks, obviously. Um, Take it if it's free. I think if you've been with them a long time, maybe you can talk them into it. Um, but my honest opinion on it, if I was to score it uh, one out of 10, I would give it a six. Why is that? Well, because it's just a little bit difficult to use and it's still kind of glitchy. Um, I'm sure that the next edition will be much better. Um, again, it took a while for it to come out after it was supposed to. They were running into a lot of problems with it and um, they did get it working, they did get it out. Um, but that's a quick look guys. You can again They're still 30 bucks on Amazon. I'm assuming that maybe on eBay You're gonna be able to start finding people selling used ones for much cheaper um, But if you want something kind of cool for the dish to um, Separate your basic remotes and you know, you're not using like a harmony remote or you know A lot of us are using our phones these days um, for remotes this might be a great addition um, if you have Dish Network. Um, I actually am a big fan of Dish Network. I have been with them a very long time. So this is no harp on Dish. I just think the controller needs some work. Um, but there are some cool things about it. But that's it guys. That's just a quick look at the difference between the two. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, please 
like and subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm a, I'm a new channel. I'm just getting started here. Um, I appreciate all the support. If you want to know when a new video is dropping, please be sure to click the bell. Until the next one, guys, if you have any questions, follow me on Facebook at JB Tech Fanatic. We'll see you later. Peace.